just a little review of these di uh, Diamond Cock and Horseshoe Company. <laughs> Good old Diamond Tools. The ones who really popularized slip joint pliers, but they made a lot of nice... They had some pretty premium tools. These were quite premium as well. Kind of hard to see where it says Dymalo. Dymalo. <laughs> they are G57. Good old Duluth, Minnesota here. With gold diamond cock, diamond horseshoe. I did have, I do have some actual diamond horseshoes, and they're very well made. Can't seem to find them now. Anyway, we can see just a little bit of light through there. So these have definitely been used, but the jaws not too beat up. These types of cutters for cutting off the heads of rivets, heads of nails. You can use them to pull nails. They're just like side cutters, and only the handles are now 90 degrees, one. And two, they're really tight. You can end up getting, or you have the pivots very close to the cutting edge. So you can get a lot of force on these. You don't want to cut springs or, you know, hardened fasteners. They're not bolt cutters, and that's how they usually get damaged when people cut things like piano wire or something like that. But if you're cutting stuff like, you know, this is a good example of staple no problem this is actually a pretty thick but extremely low quality screw and i'm pretty sure whoop i want to put a rag over this just so those fasteners don't go flying off i have to put quite a bit of force there we go but they're still pretty good i mean you can still even though it's a low quality steel screw we were able to cut it with putting a fair amount of force on it. And of course, you know, with the materials that are softer than the jaws, that's absolutely, you know, no issue. What I also find interesting is these are model uh, G57. And I think these are an older pair of uh, American-made channel locks, maybe from the early 2000s and 90s. I think they're just a little bit different now. But I think it's hilarious that the channel locks are 357 and the whole diamonds were G57, so pretty similar. One thing I will mention, or a couple things I should say, is if we compare to the channel lock here, we actually have just a bigger uh, space, a little bit more opening than we do in the channel lock, which is, you know, a little bit nice, adds to the versatility. These channel locks weren't made particularly well, if we can see. They're actually particularly lopsided, where the diamonds are certainly much more even, much more symmetrical, the centering of the handle versus the blade. So that was a little disappointing about these channel locks. But one thing I will mention, or another thing, is for some reason these diamonds really don't open very far. That is, in most situations, as far as you need them to work. But... Uh, there's occasionally times when you need to get around a larger head. Maybe it's a rivet that you can't slide sideways and you need to get over the top of it and it has like a big washer or something on it. So the channel locks do, they open excessively wide. Almost no situations where you need them to be open this wide, but it is kind of nice that they do uh, have that extra capacity or extra movement in that regard so that's like one area where the channel locks are a little bit bigger better than the diamond alloys. but these diamonds uh they're pretty nice since they already have a little bit of uh, the jaws are a little bit beat up these fortunately you can't sharpen these but you have to be very careful you put them in the vise and you have to very carefully file the top and the bottom edge usually with needle files and it's kind of difficult because it's the issue is is making sure that you keep both these jaws absolutely parallel to each other other than that not a lot else to say besides uh, old diamond hand tools really were very nice quality and this is just another example of them you know having a pair that's just a bit used but still works absolutely fine rivet has just a touch of play but considering the amount of uh, times these been used that's absolutely fine so these will kind of go into my, you know, even though I like them, they're a bit more used. So I'll end up keeping these channel locks for my tool collection. And this will kind of be in the junk tools just because uh, these types of pliers are just so great for grabbing a hold of stuff and then rocking and pulling things. Uh, they're actually really good for that. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.